Let's talk about getting shit done and getting shit done effectively. There are some good ways you can go about getting shit done quickly and efficiently, and I want to talk to you about exactly how to do that. Welcome back, my name's Ethan, and today I wanna to talk about getting shit done in life because ultimately, the way I see it from my standpoint, and my standpoint's a little skewed because I'm a type A personality when it comes to getting things done, is that most people don't get shit done in life because they've got excuses, they've got things that hold them back, and I wanna talk about that because if you have big dreams, big goals, and you wanna get things done, you need to do it efficiently, you need to stop making excuses, and you need to make that thing happen. So. Uh, I've been an entrepreneur for over 20 years now. Um, I've started, you know, a, a lot of small things, but I and some big things too. But I've I've always had this drive to uh, to do the best I could at anything that I wanted, and I've also had this like mindset where I want to try out a bunch of different things, whether it's starting a software company or writing a book, starting a new website, a new project, whatever it is. I'm always somebody that is just driven to start a number of different things and I've got a lot of different interest areas and people often you know when I when I tell them what the, what I'm doing they'll look and go holy shit Ethan you're doing so much like how are you able to put so much content out how were you able to write so many books in such a short period of time look at all the things that you're involved in and I say yeah so what I mean that it, to me they're on the one hand they're amazed by what I'm able to do and I look at it and go well I'm not special I can anybody can do this shit the only thing that that I do differently I think than than a lot of people is I actually get down and apply myself and get things done you see most people uh, don't want to actually get started on a project or continue a project continue working on it until the perfect ideal conditions come along and they'll make excuses like well I don't I'm too tired to work on it or I don't want to work on it today or I'll do I'll do that tomorrow tomorrow never comes and someday is such an excuse that that people always use they're gonna start a business someday they're gonna lose weight someday they're gonna they're gonna become a better investor someday they're gonna start saving for retirement someday someday never comes you never see someday marked in the calendar you see January February March but you don't see someday it's never there on a calendar someday never comes um, Ultimately, if, if you want to achieve something, you have to be able to, to just start executing it and put the time in. There are a lot of great people that uh, you can get motivated from online, on YouTube especially. I mean, it's like you watch, you watch videos by Gary Vee or any of the motivational channels and the, they'll have speakers on, you know, on, on their videos where they're, they're basically saying, you need to get your shit together and get some stuff done. And ultimately, that, that's what it's all about. If you can do that, if you can apply that to your life, you can get incredible amount uh, of things accomplished. I remember I watched a video, um, it was a great interview. Um, somebody interviewed Elon Musk uh, about how he was able to get so many things done. And he said, look, I, I, I work you know, 100 hour weeks. And he said, you know, um, if you wanna get ahead, work, uh, you know, work 100 hour weeks. Because he said, if everyone else is working a 40 hour work week and you're working 100 hour weeks, you're gonna be able to accomplish the same thing that, that's gonna take them a year and just a matter of months. And that is so true. I've used that a principle on a number of times. I don't wanna do it all the time, obviously that's a lot of work, but it, it gets to the point of if you take some time every single day, some, an extra 15 minutes or half an hour or hour every single day, doing something little that gets you closer towards your goal, your dream, whatever that might be, you're gonna find that after a week, after a month, you're gonna have made incredible progress. And if you don't do that on a regular basis, it's gonna be difficult for you to actually get where you want. It's like, you know, if you're trying to lose weight and you, you're trying to go to the gym, you're trying to work out, it's really easy to come up with excuses as to why you can't go. Now, once you start doing it, it, it's easy to kind of stay in 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 that uh, pattern where you, you go back and you're working out every day. But if you miss a day or two, it's super easy to get out of that schedule, out of that routine. But if you dedicate yourself to always at least spending a little bit of time every day to doing it, even if you can't make it into the gym, but you do something at home, on the days you didn't make it into the gym, you will at least retain, I think, critical momentum in achieving your goals. So I, I do this when I'm writing, uh, when I'm writing books. So I, I, some of the books I write are fairly long. Um, you know, the close to 200 pages to me, that's a long book because I don't really have patience a whole lot for writing. 
Um, but yeah, I still do write and I can, I still write fairly quickly. And it's not because I'm a better writer, not because I'm a better uh, typer, not because I'm a better speller or anything like that compared to anyone else. It's because I'll sit down and for 10 or 15 minutes, I will pound out a paragraph or two. And then later that day or the next day, I'll come back and do the same thing. And after a week or a month, I'm able to have created a ton of content that I can then produce and I can call that project done. And I do that with a lot of the things that, that I do. And I think if you, if you constantly come up with excuses as to why you can't get shit done, then you're never gonna get shit done. Not at least at the level that you want. I've got a, a great poster I hang up in one of my offices and it says, get shit done. And it, it's straight to the point. It's black on white. It's a, you know white text against a black background. It's a very clear message. And I always use that as a reminder to myself that there's no time to bitch, moan, complain, or delay, procrastinate. Uh, the people that make excuses in life are the people that are not gonna ever achieve the things that they want. Um, and you know these people in life. And if you want something different, something better than what they have, then you need to not make excuses. You need to get shit done.